Zeki Dekuza here. Welcome back to another interesting episode in on Revit tutorial. Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to see how to create um, what the picture shown and at, at the beginning of the video, we're going to see how to create that kind of deco the correction on our sweep. Okay, so let's say for instance, I have just a basic wall. Cancel. Select the wall, change it to the height, preferred height, just any. Though the height is not that important. Okay, so create a sweep. Um, model in place let's call it generic model and say okay i want to have a sweep let's get a path line path just pick a line and finish sketch upon any of the elevation you like and put it at wireframe for you to see it clearly okay so here it's our wall now let's create something like this um, 600 and uh, by let's see 450 I don't really know how long it's going to be let me just make it 600 so 450 plus what plus another 150 enter so let's make it 600 by 600 now finish it up okay nice so what do we do let's have this here okay something like this all right and then Mountain, sorry. Line two. Now let's have this one. Create just something nice. Okay, and now let's just give it a height. height of let's say 200 no let me add a hundred make it 300 and let's finish it up to this place that's okay so we on this line delete this and oh my fan just on let me off my fan because Sorry, the fan, the noise of the fan will be too much into the video, so that's what the reason I of it. Okay, let's see, we have something like this and delete. I will show you the reason why I have this. This is a bit too much. I will show you the reason why I have this here. And now, delete this one, this one, and I'll show you the reason why I have this face here. The reason is I want to host something here. So I have 300 of height. Finish and does it finish. Okay, we have something like this. It's a bit long, but no problem. Okay, so we have a height of about 300 here. So let's create a family, a parametric family new family make it list so that i can see the names okay so i want list okay you said that all right so i want um give me the name generic 
line based generic line based model flow by ceiling base okay here generic line base open it okay and then open another one again it should be generic model metric generic model yeah all right so i want to create just something simple an extrusion of about 250 i want it to be 250 by 250 we should I make it a bit rectangular let's make it 200 enter and this one should be 250 250 and enter hmm. should I make this one 80 okay just whatever you feel like and you don't move it let's move it first move this center to this please and move again this center to this please that's okay finish it up forget about the height for now so let's see i want to create a void sweep void sweep okay i want to create a very simple profile to it finish okay edit profile go to right elevation nice so I want something simple not too complicated and something like the height let's leave it at 120 150 let's say 150 okay so i have something like this this one here okay just make it as exciting as possible Okay, and now trim canal to extend perfect finish it up and finish it up so it's now cutting this and I want this to come down all the way to this place so basically it's cutting everything out okay we have something like this load into family one it is the line based firmly finish and now we have something like this so just keep it on this line hit an align to align this to this lock and place and align this to the middle of this lock and place okay so array you don't last okay take this to this please and align the last one too to the end and align it to the middle perfect so click on this create a parameter for it um make it an instance parameter let's call it a for array okay so now create another one for the length let's call it l make it an instance okay so the distance the distance the width of um, my profile which is 180 plus the distance between it so 180 plus 180 or let's say 180 plus 100 let's make it 100 280 make it 300 so 300 round it up to 300 and let's see um, length which is L E 
ng th divide by l capital letter l length and now okay now you see my profile is done load it back into my project perfect so press on escape and now go to south elevation so the reason why I said I have this I'm going to host my wireframe I'm going to host it on this face here so component on the face um, select the plane get it take it to 3d all right here is the 3d make it wireframe select so you see it automatically selected that plane if it is this one this will not work it has to be a basic plane select it and now drag it all the way to the end so if you don't have a very good computer power your computer will obviously lag just as the one mine is what we're doing right now just click it and voila we have something like this let's make it realistic for us to see everything clearly so you see we have something like this it's like a continuous array if you look at it closely you will see what I mean by that so you see this is how it looks like you have your decor on your on your what's the name on your sweep thank you very much for watching this video hope this tutorial is helpful tomorrow inshallah we're going to start um, a conditioning so we're going to see how the tutorial on it on how to put vents into a building thank you very much for watching let's meet sometime tomorrow for an interesting course goodbye see you tomorrow